Hello guys, today we're going to be doing another video for Seller Sprite. You're going to have to check this out. It is absolutely awesome. If you're owning a online store, you are maybe you're drop shipping, you're just trying to figure out, you're really trying to analyze all of your data to sell the most products and really to see well what products you should sell, then this is for you. Check out the link in the description and try Seller Sprite. I'm telling you it's going to save you a lot of lot of money. All right, so here I am at Seller Sprite's main page. I'm already logged in, uh, but for this video, go to Tools, and we will go down to the Review Analysis, which is a really key thing for you to do. If you are looking for new products, you're kind of trying to see if this product is going to be good or not, and you really want to understand when people are reviewing the product, what they think about it, and you're, well, you'll see. Follow along with me. All right, so here we are, and now I recommend downloading the extension and just linking everything up to your Amazon account because this is what we're doing uh, and it's going to save you so much time and it's very very simple and I'll show you too uh, how to do that now for example uh, I'm going to click on the United States now here's one that I'm checking out right here the salt and stone natural deodorant right and I'm going to do uh, click on review analysis right and you'll see now we can do like bulk view as well, this is just one that I've done, but just kind of giving you an idea of uh, what, what it looks like. And when you look here, you see the tags, the price, the variance, the ratings, right? The reviews, which is 313. And I'm just going to click go. And it's going to send me where I need to go. Now, another one uh, that you should do to kind of build this up is you can go and just click the ASIN. Uh, so the Amazon specific identification number, right? Um, but you can do that. Now I'm going to delete this here because I don't want it, but you can add them more and more uh, as we go uh, to just kind of click on that. There we go. All right. Now you can kind of see what that looks like. But what about going to the Amazon site and getting everything pulled up for you? Well, this is what I'm going to do now. Let's show. All right. Now here is another one that I have now. Um, once you get everything linked in, now you can see I'm here on Amazon, and you have two options, right? So we can do the analysis report. Now this is going to give you that uh, analysis report on all of their views on this specific listing. Now this is the meat of it, right? Um, now if you want to know how to do it, just if you see the seller sprite, once you do that, you can see the product research, the reverse ASIN, the keyword mining, so forth and so on, and you can create your own list. Uh, but as you're coming here, you can do you can generate the AI analysis report, which is AI is going to do it, and it's actually done by Schulix Voc with AI, and it's very powerful. So it's going to give you the text reviews and identifies key phrases that show a customer's pain point, and this is what's going to help you save the money. Or and, and this one's going to show you like each variant and the trends and etc. Right? Let's do the analysis report. Right? So we're just going to collect the reviews, and I just need to agree and click go see and it takes just a second and one moment and you're going to see really how awesome this is and when you scroll down you can also click them right here it just puts everything on the page for you so you don't really have to leave and go back which is a big point to keep note all right and you can see here it gave us a message because the current number of product reviews is less than 20 which may lead to inaccurate analysis results and you know that because it's well let's be honest it's not really uh, that uh, that big. It's not enough information. So let's try another product, right? Let's go to electronics. Uh, let's go to cameras, camera and photo. Let's find one that has a lot of reviews. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> let's find one. This one should have some reviews to it, right? So we'll click on here, the Fuji film, and we'll see how it goes. All right. Now, do, 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 do. yeah, I like that. That's that looks good. All right. So here again, you can see like we can see the variations, the uh, keep a trends. It's loading. Just my internet's a little slow, uh, so this stuff goes. It's lagging a little bit for me. Uh, but the AI review analysis. See, we can do this again by clicking the reviews, and it's going to be just one moment. Tell us to wait patiently, no worries. And again, you, if you don't want to just do it like the AI review analysis, right? You can check out the marketplaces. You can even find the keywords for it. You can kind of check out what's going on to the sales graph. This is actually kind of moving up. And the same thing here, the reviews are not enough. 
uh, but kind of showing you, like, so we can download the reviews as well, which is really cool. All right, and we'll find another product. Uh, better yet, let's do this. Let's say the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's got to have a lot of reviews uh, for this. Samsung S23. Here we go. All right. Now we got everything pulling up. Internet's moving a lot faster. All right, so we can analyze. That's the market analysis that's going with it. The bullet points, the AI listing pages as well. Okay, and now I've clicked on this one. And we're just letting everything load up for just a second. All right, it took its time. It loaded. It redirected this to where we can do. And we'll try to do analysis on the AI. All right, so don't do like I did. Choose a product that has more than like 20 reviews because, again, you want some data to be able to go over it, right? So this is one that's important. Uh, I just didn't catch – I didn't really look at each – uh, review like how as far as how many it had so but with the Samsung it worked just to kind of show you again just for the video purposes now let's take a look at the customer profile right so it shows 60% of men and 40% of women right and it's going to give you a who when where and what right so professionals 35% when the daytime for example was the most at 55% home, from home 40% and really what and that was a photography at 32% and you can see there's communications and social media Right, and it even gives you a use scenario, right? So suitable for everyday use, fast and smooth, great for business purposes, photography. Now, a lot of the reasons here uh, for the for this, it, it's going to help you with keywords and kind of really describe the product as well, right? But let's take the use scenario versus the customer expectations, right? So the camera, 14%. It was built-in flaw with processing 50 megapixel uh, photos. And not not as good quality as expected, right? So we can kind of add that. Now that was the expectations. The pros was the camera at 30% though, improved camera quality, high resolution. The cons to it though was missing, and uh, here we, we can make that big. So missing features, right? And you can see the camera charging. And I think the least one was durability, you can see. So you're gonna really be able to analyze that right off the bat and the purchase motivations. So you see how it's analyzing all of the review data uh, together and it's going to show you what percentage of what. Is it good? Should I try to sell this product? Is it horrible? Is it going to impact my store? This is the kind of thing that we're looking for. Right, so overall, it's pretty good. Camera, 30%, right? And this is the pro was for the camera. The pains was some of the cameras for some of the others. And the usage um, was 30% for the usage scenario. So they wanted photography, high quality camera, night mode, right? So... Uh, and when we go to the expectations again, right, the camera 14%, built in flaw processing, uh, but not as good as expected. But overall, it's pretty good, right, when we compare to the pros to it and the usage scenario, what people are wanting from the Samsung and so forth. So we can take, well, the camera, we can focus on that, right? Uh, and the who mostly actually. Uh, made the reviews was professionals and that was at 35 percent where a student was 22 and business owners 18 percent so you kind of get an idea of what's going on so um we can look at all of this information and this is one of those great things about seller sprite you see how fast it is to do that right and even better yet if we want to um save this information you can just like click the heart and what that's going to do is you're going to be able to create a tag for that later on and have the bookmarks and go back to that. And if you want to look at the trends, you want to look at the marketplaces, the keyword explorer, you just click on it. It's going to take you straight to it. And you can uh, the module KC video as well. Uh, you can hide this information if you want to go just to like the regular and you can download the reviews if you would like. So uh, just click download and it will download those for you. You can download the images if you want to use them for yourself later on. The customer images as well. Download all of this. And well, I'm not going to download it now, but to give you an idea and download the A plus images. So you're going to be able to do that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Jump down into the uh, the description click the link and try it now i promise you you'll love it it'll save you a lot of time and it will really help you with your online business